Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is going to be one for the shop and we're going to make a nice little shop stool um, that's going to live underneath the bench. We're going to make that out of two by four and a bit of three quarter inch ply. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so this is going to start off at the miser saw. What we've got is we've measured from here to there 28 inches and we're going to make two cuts of that. Then we're going to go over and we're going to rip it down the middle. These are going to form the legs. They're at rough length at the moment. Um, because I'm going to put compound mitre cuts on the end of each leg. Um, now it's a rough saw on 2x4, as you can see there's a bit of a step in that, so once we've got these cuts to length, we'll, uh, we'll run them through the thicknesser and the surface planer and we'll get these a little bit nicer, um, and then we'll put the compound cuts in. So we'll just start the cuts now. So there's our two legs, well, four legs eventually. Okay, so we've got our stock milled up. Um, so these are our four legs at rough length. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run them through the table saw. I've tilted the blade of the table saw to seven degrees. And I've tilted my mitre gauge here also to seven degrees. And that's gonna give us a compound mitre cut. Run it through like that. Okay. And it'll cut it. What that'll do is it'll, let, it'll allow me to have the leg splayed out like that and then put splaying in at the same time. All four are going to get the same treatment. I've got each one labelled up with up. Tells me that that was the that was up and the direction that the blade was in at the time. And then to do the second piece, all I need to do is rotate this box 180 degrees and then rotate it forward one revolution, 190 degree turn. Set it to the length and push it through. And what that will then give me is a piece of wood where the bottom is flat, the top is flat, but the legs are splayed. You'll understand in a minute. First of all, we'll just make the first cut because then I need to figure out how a way of um, setting the length to be the right length for each leg. So we'll just make the first cut now anyway. Okay, so the solution to making that the length of the leg is exactly the same for all four pieces was for me to extend my rear fence out and then clamp my fence at its maximum. And then I've got a piece of 1 8 plywood here clamped to the fence. And all I need to do is, this is the way that the board was cut originally, so I'm going to turn that round. I'm going to flip that 90 degrees forward. And then push that against the plywood over here. Hold that in place. Push it off. And because the plywood doesn't go all the way past the blade, there's now a gap between the end of the board and the fence which is what we want we don't want to be trapped in between the, the blade and the fence 
um, and then I can just push that through the blade and then repeat with the other four and that should give me all four pieces exactly the same height shouldn't have any rock on it then okay so we've got our fence now set to two inches we've got our blade back at 90 degrees and that sets the height so we can cut this three quarter inch plywood scrap what we're going to do is we're going to cut that into two inch strips i need four strips um, and i should be able to get the top and bottom stretcher for each of the four sides from this piece of wood so we'll cut those through now Okay, so we're back at the chop saw. I've got the blade set at 90 degrees up and 7 degrees that way. And these are going to form our stretches. Now I'm going to cut all four pieces at the same time. And I've clamped the boards at one end. You can see that. And then I'm going to mark, once I've got the cut made, we'll make six inches across the top. We'll turn the blade seven degrees the other way. And we'll make that cut there. And then we just need to make the other end cut that down and then whatever those stretches fit on the stool leg then. So we'll go ahead and make that cut first of all. whole time um, so we're going to put two pocket holes in each stretcher and for these smaller ones which are going to be at the top of the leg they're going to have one pocket hole on that top face because that's how we're going to attach the base so let's get cracking now time to start assembling the leg assembly so what I've done now is I've orientated the, the the legs in the right way and I've also working from the inside of the stool because I don't want these on the outside so what we're going to do now is we're going to start putting these onto the leg I want to give these stretches a reveal as well so I've got this piece of quarter half inch ply and I'm going to rest the board on that and then I'm going to screw the two and that will give me then a nice little reveal on the chair leg so we'll do that now okay so I got ahead of myself there a little bit um, I wanted to put a round over on each of the legs so I've gone ahead now taking off those stretches that I've just put on um, and I put a half inch well I've got a, a round over bit in my router and we're just going to run the legs through each on all four corners just to soften up those edges a little bit So the round over is all done on the wood now so before I go any further I'm going to sand these up now get them nice uh, before I reattach those stretches again. Done the roundovers, done the sanding, 
Um, off camera as well, I sanded down the stretches as well and got rid of that brown veneer off the front. Um, and I'm just going to attach these um, these side stretches now just to finish it off. And then that's the base done. Um, and then we're, we're going to move on to the top now. Now I'm in two minds on this one, whether to just do a three quarter inch plywood top um, and just screw it on, or whether to go with my original plan which was to use some 2x4s glued together um, I'll have a think about that while I'm doing this but anyway so I'm just going to screw these bits in now Okay, so that's the frame done. Um, yeah, stand out's okay. It's solid enough. So that should take my weight no problem. And uh, let's move on to the top now, shall we? Okay, so for the top I have decided to stick with the 2x4. That was my original thinking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut down three sections, about 13 inches. Uh, I'm going to glue those together. And then tomorrow morning we will be able to take them out the clamps. I'm going to put a round over on the top, quite a big one, uh, to make it comfy to sit on and then I'm going to do a 45 degree chamfer underneath to give it a bit of a profile um, and then we'll use the pocket holes that we did on the top stretches to, to mount it, um, we'll give it a sanding and good to go. Just put some mud glue on these bits now and then we'll glue them together and we'll leave those overnight before we attach them onto the, uh, the stool tomorrow. Right, um, while the top is drying, what I thought I'd do is just give the legs um, a quick coat, a couple of coats of uh, interior varnish, um, water-based poly for you Americans, um, and that'll just help to keep it, you know, a little bit cleaner, a little bit protected from moisture and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna put the headphones on and get cracking. Turned up the edges on the uh, the seat part. It turns out that the bandsaw table is too small for this size piece. Um, so I'm going to have to do the 45 degree cut on the table saw. I could use the router, um, but I want a, a good 45 from an inch in. So I'm going to do it on the table saw. It's my least favourite cut. It's the one I don't like doing. Um, 
it just it just frightens me that's all so we'll see we'll see how it goes survived the cut. Uh, my technique on that one is probably the worst you've ever seen um, and that's just down to my nervousness on that particular cut. I really don't like doing them. Um, I don't do them often enough I suppose to get my confidence up um, but you know we got through it and they turned out great. So what we'll do now is we'll just sand off the top, we'll sand off the bottom or the top and the bottom um, and then we'll do the round over, actually we'll do the round over first, then we'll do the sanding um, and then we'll get it mounted So the sanding's finished so what we're going to do now is we're just going to position the stool into its final place, get it squared on the base as much as possible, and then we're just going to drive in these screws, and that'll be it then. And then we give the coat of uh, water-based poly or interior varnish on the top there, just to finish it off. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, got any comments? I'd love to see, know what you think about it. Um, I'm just going to give it a quick coat of polyurethane over the top there just to protect the seat, and uh, that's the seat done. Uh, and thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. See you soon. Take care. Bye.